One of the things about Monday and Holy Week is it is sort of a plain day. We've just had Palm Sunday, which is a lot of pomp and circumstances liturgically, but certainly in Jesus' life there was a lot going on on Palm Sunday. And then the tragic and devastating realities of the end of the week um, are a big deal. And then, of course, the Resurrection Sunday is a yet bigger deal still. But Monday and Holy Week is just plain. One of the things that I appreciate about uh, the texts that are chosen for today is they actually, on this ordinary day, um, remind us of the extraordinary person of Jesus, of his work, uh, what he's doing. Isaiah, and particularly in here, is calling our attention to the work of the Messiah who, and what he will do in terms of bringing forth justice. And he begins, Isaiah begins with behold. So there's a something about the text that remind us on this ordinary day that there are some things that are extraordinary. But that's not the only thing that we should think about, I think, on ordinary days. Um, there is something about ordinary days themselves uh, that is fantastic, that is incarnational and good because not every day is extraordinary and yet God is present to us. God is f feeding us and communicating with us in the ordinary all the time. I have a favorite poem that kind of celebrates the reality of ordinary days and I want to read it for you. It's called A Poem in Midwinter written by a guy by the name of Daniel Waters. Today is 38 degrees, too cold to swim, too warm to freeze. It's not a Sunday, not a snow day, just a wonder bread John Doe day. Mother Nature must have slipped to make a day so nondescript that if today had robbed a bank, the wanted posters would be blank. Fred Fisher's cows, who know no rush, whose job is chewing hay to mush, morosely arch their bovine brows at one more day of being cows. The ocean spreads a foamy hand consolingly across the sand to reassure the ageless bride he wakened one more day beside. A wedding held this afternoon deserves some extra honeymoon. The babies born will not be kings, but scallopers and humbler things. Today no wars will be begun, no major lawsuits filed nor won. A Chilmark woman may instead decide to bake banana bread. At dusk morticians tiptoe in to tag this day, no next of kin. A day discarded, used and tossed, a scratch and wind piece, scratched and lost. By sundown this is all one sees, though poets past were known to squeeze a masterpiece from days like these. Tonight is 38 degrees. As we sit in the ordinariness of Monday and Holy Week, understanding the extraordinary salvation that comes to us through the cross and resurrection of Jesus, um, let us remember that even, even in his incarnation, he is blessing the ordinariness of this day. Um, and there is a grace and there is the presence of God in that as well. Thank you.